When you work with a landscape or other photography, sometimes you want to bring this little bit extra edge that is creating by HDR photography. And high dynamic range, what does it create if you're doing multiple photos? Uh, it's create a multiple image with different exposures and allowed us to capture details in the highlights and in the shadows and bring all after by blending those images together. So, but if you don't have its ability, you have it one image, sometimes you want to bring this extra edge. So you want to create this kind of HDR look or a little bit more shadow highlights, contrasting kind of look um, in your photos. So example, the landscape right here, what we have it and you can see, it's kind of nice image. I took it in the fall and I create also a filter that is simulating some HDR look. So let's look right here, we can preload and you can see how it, it's intensified, it's bring kind of more details to this. Let's also have multiple different preset right now. And we can go look inside. As a settings, you can see right here, we have intensity of HDR. And if you worked before, you probably realize this is probably will be blending mode. We also increase saturation and contrast, the one thing it's also created. And as HDR, we have it two modes. We have it actually small details. You can see right here, which we can increase intensity for the small details. And we also have it intensity for large details. So let's go look closer on this filter. How does it work? Again, this is not very complex filter. And we starting, we take our image right here, our first input image, and we take it to the mode. So we're creating a two high passes. And this is kind of what you do in Photoshop. Sometimes if you want to bring extra details, you take high pass. Okay, let's look closer what's happening with high pass. And high pass working on a contrast of the edges detecting the uh, it's detecting the edge between contrast like darker light and intensify those so it's bring a little bit more so based on this i have a two a filters high passes and you notice the both uh, one work a little bit with the uh, smaller details so like right here small details and you can look on these details, you see how small they are because our radius is two. So it just says, take a calculate contrast with going with two pixels or less. Um, let's intensify those. And that's what we've done. With the largest one, we take 10 pixels. And I find those ones too must work very well for majority of the images. So if you feel you need to modify this, you can always add additional controls. And we have it also working with contrast. So right here, our slider contrast, you can see it's set to 30. So let's say lock preview on this one. And what is what's happening when I increase. So you can see how to bring more details. So this is what set, um, allowed us to kind of increase details for the specific two pixels or 10 pixels. Okay, so let's go back to this. Okay, we'll go to remove lock. So this is two overlays and next we have it our blending tools applied so first you can notice we have it apply as a soft light that's what we're using our high pass to our image and you can see before it's uh, add some small details okay and we'll have it next one which apply other details from small details uh, large details to this and this is a little bit more will affect your image so for this i want to have it my control so i set my blending control where we take a more permanent more visible and apply them as well so right here is where we control it next this is um just simple adjustments one is a hue and saturations and it's simple we just take our saturations and we apply it our situations to the image to increase quality and it's what's happening if you work with a real hdr sometimes you notice because how image blending they bring details and saturations will increase so it's again done to simulation and we also have this little bit tone curve which allowed us to adjust some of this okay let's go log preview and right here you can see we can increase flatness or increase a bit more contrast okay let's go back to neutral 
on our um, image. So it's another simulations for kind of increasing some of this differential between dark and light. So again, this is kind of all what we have. It's simple, straightforward filter. And this has allowed us to create this kind of simulations. You can see right here, we can increase those, remember, large ones. Just saturate it or bring saturations to insane level. Okay, same, we can play with contrast. And in some case, if you work with HDR, you will notice sometimes they have this kind of flattened look. And it's what we're doing by simulating with this. Again, we can take the saturation down and we can create this kind of flat HDR look. Or we can increase, again, contrast way high and bring kind of very intense HDR look on this case. Again, bring contrast maybe lower on a small detail, so higher. Right there. There you go. And you can see we can create all this different type of HDR look with these filters. And you can see like before and after. Um, right here you can kind of see how we brought some of the trees pop up on the back. Kind of add all of this distinguish between um, before and after processing. And always when you create your preset, if you like this, remember just go ahead and add presets so you will have it all as additional presets you can maybe use in the future as you like.